Hi YouTube. So uh, this is an update on our efforts of trying to conceive and my success with OPKs. Uh, like I said in my last video, I used them for two other months, I think after November, and I never got a positive. Um, but I was using the really expensive ones, and so I didn't want to keep spending money if I didn't think they were going to work. So I bought some of the internet cheap ones, and um, I've been doing them ever since cycle day five. And I did them twice a day for six days, excuse me, and then I did them for three times a day after that just to make sure that I would not miss my surge. And so um, I'll show you guys the results, and they are right over here. So, all right, so as you can see, on July 21st was cycle day 5, and I was taking them twice a day up through cycle day 10, and then three times a day after that, and they were all negative, until we get down to cycle day 17, which it was 2 a.m. in the morning, and I was just still up from the day before, so I kind of lumped it in with cycle day 16, but technically it was 17. But there you can see my positive, and um, two above it, it's dark, but it's not darker than the control line, and two below it, it's kind of the same. So, but this one was definitely darker than the control line. And so I stopped taking them after cycle day 18 because they started getting lighter. So, yeah. So I am super excited that I finally got a positive, as, you know, for the first time in 10 months. And um, so we've been baby dancing all week, trying to uh, make sure we don't miss our window of opportunity. And I'll probably wait till, I don't know, maybe um, 10 or 11 DPO to um, do any uh, pregnancy tests because I don't know if the ones that I have would actually work before that but I will uh, let you know what happens and um, there's something else I was going to say uh, oh as far as ovulation goes I don't know um, if or when because I can't chart my temperature because I don't sleep uninterrupted and you need at least three hours of uninterrupted sleep and you need to do it at the same time every day so I don't think it would be accurate if I did my temperatures because one I wake up at a different time every day and if I were to set my alarm I would never be able to go back to sleep so I just don't know that that would be accurate to do with my temperatures so I never have so I don't know if I ovulated but all the signs um, cervical position cervical fluid um, have all pointed to ovulation, so I'm very excited that, uh, we have a really good shot this month. So yeah, that's my update, and I will come back in a week or two when I have done some pregnancy tests. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.